This is Dr. Howard Rosenthal, and welcome to this session on decoding comprehensive counseling exam language. If you're taking counseling courses or major exams like the NCE, the CPCE, CECE, or a licensing exam, today is your lucky day. Seriously? Yes, seriously. In this brief program, I'll share a quick and effective way to boost your comprehensive exam scores, and it works wonders on classroom tests too. Surprisingly, hardly anybody uses this method. And stick with me till the end and I'll get your greed glands going and tell you how to get over 200 free test tents. All right, exams often use terminology you might not recognize, which can make familiar questions, material you know tricky. In this program, I'll reveal alternative terms so you can decode these secret phrases. Let's start with some common examples. The simplest one in the world first. Counseling can also be called therapy or psychotherapy. Psychoanalysis might appear on your exam as analysis. Psychodynamic. Freudian therapy or Even depth psychology, ego, could be referred to as the executive administrator of the personality. In statistics, the independent variable, IV, is the experimental variable. And the dependent variable, DV, might be called outcome data on your test. Next, Frank Parsons' trait factor method could be known as matching, actuarial approach, or the Minnesota point of view. A conversion reaction might be labeled as hysteria. Paraphraxis refers to a Freudian slip or unintentional error. Rogerian therapy on your exam could also be called client-centered therapy or counseling, self-theory, person-centered, or even non-directive therapy. When a client is in the spotlight during a group session, It's called a vertical intervention. Contrasting this, you have a horizontal intervention when the leader engages the whole group. Present moment therapies might be referred to as ahistoric treatments. In REBT, self-talk can often appear as internal verbalizations. Multicultural counseling goes by many names, including cross-cultural counseling, diversity and inclusion counseling, intercultural counseling, DEI, aka diversity, equity, and inclusion counseling, transcultural counseling, or even global counseling. In statistics, a non-parametric test might be listed as a distribution-free test. The mean is the original arithmetic average, just like you learned in elementary school. And outliers on your exam would be extreme scores. A capital H with a sub-zero signifies a null hypothesis. A sub-one next to the capital H 
indicates an alternative or experimental hypothesis. A constructivist approach may describe a postmodern school of helping, while narrative therapy is sometimes called storytelling therapy. In Ellis's ABC theory, A stands for activating event, B for the belief system, and C, the emotional consequence of the client. A lowercase r denotes a correlation coefficient. ACA can refer to the American Counseling Association, of course, but it could also refer to the Affordable Care Act. ABA may mean applied behavior analysis or represent baseline, treatment, baseline. Terms like neo-Freudian and ego psychology are often used interchangeably. A group counselor might also be called a group leader or group facilitator, and equine therapy can also be called horse therapy or animal therapy. As promised, if you purchase anything from any link on my website, email me with the details about your purchase and I will send you over 200 test tents along with access to my inner circle for even more exam tips. And don't forget to visit my Facebook page for additional useful exam hints. And look, if, you're, if you want to expand a study session like this, I've given you a lot of terms to get you started, but for more insights, check out my Human Services Dictionary. And if you don't have a copy, well, why not? Here's to achieving a jaw-dropping high score and yours for better counseling, Dr. Howard Rosenthal.